Ah yes, the tennis circuit is in full swing again, yay! Actually, the Aussie Open time of the year might be my favourite regarding tennis season. Just because of the Australian summer vibes, new beginnings and stuff like that. Let me know how you feel about this. Anyway, what's up folks, I am Donna from Chip and Charge and today let's make some bold predictions for the 2023 tennis season. I'm gonna emphasize the word bold, which means that they are maybe a bit unlikely to happen, but certainly not impossible. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 1. Different male winner in all Grand Slams. What makes this prediction bold is the fact that this has happened only twice since 2004. Obviously there is a good chance that Djokovic will win at least two in 2023. But I'm gonna say he won't, predicting that the Serb will win one Grand Slam this year. This is just a gut feeling based a bit on Djokovic's age and therefore making a prediction that he won't be as consistently dominant as before in slams. Plus, in my opinion, the level of men's top 10 tennis is a bit higher and overall the field is deeper than let's say a couple of years ago. If this prediction is correct, then Djokovic also won't pass Nadal in slam counts. Number 2. Sviantek will win at least 3 Grand Slams. Yeah, I said at least 3, which means that in my opinion it's definitely not impossible that the Polish tennis star will win all 4. I mean, I just said that men's tennis is currently deeper than some years ago, but it definitely isn't the case regarding women's tennis. I just can't see anyone beating Sviantek in slams at the moment and also there's no reason why that should change anytime soon. If Sviantek stays healthy and motivated, then this could be another dominant year for her. Number 3. Dominic Thiem will be a top 20 player again. Man, it's been a rocky road for the Austrian in the past couple of years. But good news is that the former world number 3 and US Open champ show the glimpse of better form at the end of last year. Thiem is definitely a guy who is great for tennis because of his good attitude plus an aggressive and entertaining playing style. The Austrian is currently ranked just outside of the top 100 but I really feel and hope that he will finish the year inside the top 20. And who knows, maybe he can have some great results in the clay court season, which as we know has historically been the most successful part of the season for him. Number 4. Osaka to focus on tennis in 2023. That definitely is a bold prediction, because it hasn't been the case in the last couple of years. Yeah, I get it that she has had some mental health issues and has been struggling to have fun on the court. But she definitely has been concentrating more on other stuff, for example business adventures. In 2022 Osaka played only 11 tournaments and won just 15 matches. She reached the Miami Open final but overall her year was underwhelming to say the least. In a recent interview though, the 4 time Grand Slam winner gave some hope that tennis might be a higher priority for her in 2023. I feel like I'm a very curious person, so I'm grateful to have been given all these avenues to explore, so I'm definitely looking forward to doing a lot of stuff, but I am a tennis player, so if I don't play tennis for too long, I get an itch," said the 25 year old Osaka during an appearance on Good Morning America. Number 5. American male tennis player will make a Grand Slam final. The last American man who reached the Grand Slam singles final was Andy Roddick in 2009 Wimbledon. So it's been 14 long years. A couple of Americans have reached the semi-finals since then. For example, Frances Tiafo did it very recently, beating Nadal on the road to the US Open 2022 semi-finals. So actually I don't know if it is even a bold prediction because Taylor Fritz, the world number 9, also raised this game last year. As we know, Fritz won the Indian Wells Masters and reached semi-finals in ATP finals. So yeah, it's certainly not impossible that either Fritz or Tiafo, or maybe both, will reach a slam final this year. I just put it as a bold prediction because, as I said, it hasn't happened for 14 years. Number 6. Raducanu will bounce back. 
The 2021 US Open champion had a rough season last year. She got only 17 wins and dropped to 78 in the world. Tennis fans and media just had a go at her basically all year round. But give it a break guys. Raducanu is still only 20 years old and obviously everything after the US Open victory was quite overwhelming for her. Anyway, I feel like this will be a bounce back year for her and she will shut down most of the critics. Top 20 and a WTA title seem like a bit bold, but at the same time, definitely possible predictions. Number 7. Nadal and or Murray will retire this year. Well, maybe it isn't a bold prediction, but it definitely would be sad. If I had to guess who will retire first out of Nadal and Murray, then I would probably pick Murray. The Scotsman recently said that he is one big injury away from retirement. So that doesn't sound good to be honest, given the fact how injury prone and fragile Murray has been for some time now. Meanwhile, Rafa said goodbye to the Mexican crowd after a recent exhibition match. The Spaniard confirmed he will not be defending his Acapulco title in 2023 and dropped another retirement clue, adding that this will most likely be the last time I play in Mexico. If I had to guess right now, then I would say that this is Mari's last season, but Rafa will continue at least until 2024 French Open. But obviously it all depends on injuries and some other stuff, which overall makes this prediction quite difficult. Number 8. Curious will break at least 40 rackets in 2023. I actually have no idea how many rackets Curious broke last year, but 40 seems quite a lot and probably more than he destroyed in 2022. Well, actually, maybe it isn't that much, because Safin broke over 50 in one season in his prime. But to be fair, the Aussie plays less tournaments than Safin did in his day, so yeah, I'll stay with my 40 plus prediction. So that little Curious guess sums up this video. What do you think about my predictions? And what are your bold predictions for the 2023 tennis season? Let's discuss them together in the comments section. Anyway, have a nice day and see you soon. Bye bye.